Andy, good to see you here at Emo in Milan. Can you maybe tell our audience who you are and what your role is here at Fanuc now? Yeah, Paul. Um, so my name's Andy Armstrong. I'm the head of sales for RoboShot in Europe. So we have uh, 23 countries, 28 subsidiaries to look after and support with the RoboShot product. Quite a great product as well, isn't it? And you've got what is classed as a, a newer machine here as well, haven't you? What are you showing at Emo? Yeah, what we're showing, Paul, for the first time is um, our SIB series which is uh, fundamentally an upgrade of our SIA series and we've got some nice new features on the machine uh, which uh, makes life easier for our customers um, to control the machine, to visualise and interface with uh, additional devices. We'll touch on the control shortly because what I want to talk about first is what we can't see here but what's going on at the back of the machine. Yep. It's, it's being loaded isn't it with a part, I mean this is about unmanned operation isn't it? Here? Exactly, so we have here a, a solution automation and we call it QSSR, so quick and simple startup and robotization. So this allows us now for very simple connectivity of our robots with all our robo machines and in this case the RoboShot, um, just for handling the parts and doing vision checks, um, identifying um, and downstream you, activities. And yeah. what are you making here then? What, what is this demonstration? So this is demonstrating a metal injection molding process. So this is a stainless steel based um, metal powder um, and fundamentally it's making a medical uh, clamp grip um, which would need to be sintered post process. It's quite an unusual application, would this be common within industry? Um, not, a, not a hugely common process, ordinarily this is an injection molding machine so straight form of ther thermoplastics. Um, but this, this comes into the realms of metal injection molding where there's more specialised production of parts that um, need to be produced in metal um, but can, can, to give the properties that are required and, and typically in the medical device industry. Um, so, so it's a process that um, is coming more and more popular into Europe. More common. Yeah. Uh, for people that are already using your machines and your technology or maybe somebody else's, what, what's different about this new model that you've got here then Andy? What makes it stand out? So for us Paul, this is um, fundamentally we've changed the CNC control system, we've got a nice uh, now large uh, screen HD display uh, with split screen functionality and also um, swipe and pinch functionality as well. So anybody who's used to using a, a, an Android or an Apple device that, that comes naturally how to use the hands on the screen. Um, but increased um, sort of response and increased storage capability from the machine. So it's a, it's a next step up, leveling up what we already had uh, and producing more functionality for our customers. Now with this type of machine, it's key to keep it running, isn't it? Efficiency is everything. Yep. There's a lot you can do here then within this touchscreen control to monitor that, isn't it? And to in yep. improve it. Could you maybe Correct. explain? So, so there's a lot of features on the machine that come as standard in terms of monitoring energy consumption, monitoring the quality and repeatability of the process. Um, but also as part of our offering, we have our production monitoring package called Link I2. So this is a web-based browser system that we can link all machines up to a thousand machines per package together um, to be able to capture data, analyze data, upload, download uh, storage of mole files and to look at your production efficiencies. And so, you can do that from anywhere, the beauty yes, of it. Yes, correct. Yeah. So, you know, it's web-based browser, so we can search on the machine, we can, we can look at a whole molding shop from each and every molding machine, or you can do it from uh, an iPad at the comfort of your home. Uh, software's one thing. Finally, let's just touch on hardware. Um, the good thing about these machines, Andy, reliability, precision, precision. speed, all of those aspects. Yeah, exactly, Paul. You know the, the quality of the Fanuc product and the reliability is you know, upmost in our um, design and production process. Um, repeatability for an injection molding um, manufacturer is really key. You know, how precise we can be, how repeatable we can be with our servo electric technology, which is run by a CNC control. So really high precision in, in every case.